if you give some free time, I'll come give you a hand job again. Great. Thanks a lot. See you later. Yeah, baby, them little hands make my shit look huge. <laughs> well, then, <laughs> next I need to get some charcoal and a hot plate out of the storehouse. It's like a baby's hand holding a hammer. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Ty with Senpai Arcade, and these two big beauty girls are Sakura and Komei. Welcome back to Koi Koi Love Blossoms. Uh, that being said, let's jump right back in to Chapter 9A. I think we're getting close to the end. Uh, last you guys saw, Sakura and Komei have both confessed their love for us, and why wouldn't they? I mean, look at us. I mean, we're a pair of disembodied hands floating around in a virtual reality world. Why wouldn't they fall for us? Oh, gee, oh, jeez. It's been a few days since Kome and Sakura expressed their feelings for me, and we had that second saucy kick kiss with Sakura. What to do? No matter how hard I think about it, I can't figure out how to respond to either of them. Luckily, they both said they would wait for an answer, but I can't keep them waiting forever. And what's more, I was asked to help out here for a time, and it's almost over. There was talk of me becoming the successor, but since Gramps made a full recovery, that's no longer on the table. This is such a mess. It's of course exactly what I wanted to happen, but that's all the more reason why I have to think long and hard. Should I have, should I leave this old Ryokin and go back home, or should I stay and try to make a living here? What am I supposed to do? What do I even want to do? The more I think about it, the more it eludes me. There's no end to my worries, and to just that moment. Oni-chan! Oni-chan! Two lively sisters come bursting into my room. Hey, it's your Oni-chan, the disembodied hands. Whoa! What are you wearing? You look like a slut! <laughs> What's gotten into you two? It's about to be me. We can do a party! A p, -p party That's right! A party! Wait, you mean... <laughs> Wait, you mean... Did Itsuha tell you my time here is almost over? Huh? And I just wanted to go through the trouble of throwing a party for you! It's not for me? Of course it is! It's a part of show our appreciation for Miss Itsuha! Since it's for Miss Itsuha, maybe calling it a banquet would be more appropriate. For Itsuha? That's right! She's always supporting us from the shadows, isn't she? And she's worked here for so long, almost without ever taking a vacation! That's why we should own a party to thank you for all the hard work! You'll help us, won't you? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> She's helped me out countless times since I got here, and I've never properly thanked her for it. Alright! Gambare kurasai! Thanks! I knew you would agree to it! Why do you sound like a, a... a drag queen? With that, we begin preparations to throw an appreciation party for Miss Itsuha! The main event will be a barbecue in the courtyard! We'll ask the usual people to deliver ingredients and provide catering! I am the front! So you need to help get the, set up the barbecue to get the courtyard. Which means I'll need to find charcoal, a hot plate, a grill, and anything else we might need, right? That's right. Got it. I assume all that can be found in the storehouse, so I'll go have a look. Okay, I've got an idea of where everything might be, and I have some time, so I'll give you a hand. Job. Great, thanks. Also, there's one thing I want you to be careful while we're preparing. We've got to make sure Miss Itsuha doesn't realize how we're, we're about to throw- Oh, so it's a surprise party. Okay, bro. I see you. I'm smelling what the rock is cooking. I'm smelling in what you stepped in, baby girl. Let me take a look at them feet. Whoa. Oh, that's right. You small. You small. Woo. Looks like- <laughs> Whew. Sorry. I, 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 that wasn't emphatic enough. Whew. Looks like we made it in without getting caught. Yeah. Komei and I have cautiously made our way to the storehouse. I didn't think it would be so much focus just to get here. Throwing a party for Itsuha is all well and good, but a barbecue in the courtyard? Can we really keep it a secret from her at this rate? I'm honestly not very confident. Excuse me, that was disgusting. You're being too obvious. You gotta be more natural. Yeah, like you would know anything about that, sweetie. But if we're not careful, she'll find us for sure. She might find us banging on that bench over there. I'm sure you'll think of something if it looks like she will. You've got to be shitting me. <laughs> I know you can handle it. All right, let's see what I can do. Yeah, I'm counting on you. Anyway, let's hurry up and get the preparations underway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, one of these days, Komei. One of these days, right up your ass. Um, 
first we need to carry out charcoal a hot plate and whatever things else we need i'm sure i'm sure it's right around here Komei begins confidently searching how do you confidently search through a storehouse boxes having cleaned this place up not too long ago it looks like she'll find what we need sooner rather than later all we need to do now all we now all we have to do is make make it quiet i don't know we should think of an excuse just in case we were up here having raucous sex it's probably best to think of about what to say just in case she finds us Ugh. an excuse like what well for example for example whoa is she behind me god damn it itsuha you fucking ghost itsuha where did you get here yeah that's a great question <laughs> oh I had just thought to clean out the storehouse. Also, the two of you were sneaking around as if you were trying to hide something. <gasps> oh! Oh! <laughs> I was curious what the two of you were up to, so I followed behind, and lo and behold, you entered the storehouse. And you mentioned making an excuse. One couldn't help but think something suspicious. She saw us come into the storehouse. We weren't doing anything suspicious. We were just having sex. <laughs> Is that so? Of course, we don't have anything to hide, right, Comer? Yeah, that's right. I see. That's certainly a shame. Just what does she think we were trying to do? Make a baby? <laughs> Maybe. However, I do have a hypothesis about what you all are planning. What could that be? Today, Miss Komei and Miss Sakura have been, shall we say, restless. Could that have anything to do with it? <gasps> um, really? You haven't noticed anything odd, right, Komei? Yeah. Is that so? This is bad. She's onto us. We've got to change the subject. So have you seen? Have you seen Kobe's butt? It's pretty nice. And Kobe, turn around and show her the goods. <laughs> oh, oh. By the way, Itsuha, what are your plans for today? My plans. I believe I already said I was going to clean the storehouse. All right. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can fool her if I just keep laughing. <laughs> I will never listen to you. My bad. My bad. I've got to think of a way out of this. If Itsuha starts cleaning the storehouse, we're never going to get the shit we need out of here. Miss Itsuha, what are you going to do after you clean the storehouse? After that, as always, I will return to my room and handle our administrative affairs. Oh, is that right? We'll just have to get things done while Miss Itsuha is in her room. When I look over at Kome, it's obvious she's thinking the same thing. You too. I can't help but think you're both acting differently than usual. Oh, it's just your imagination. You're, you're just crazy. Gaslighting's not real. Exactly. You just... You're imagining it. <laughs> Crap, I don't think Kobe is cut out for this. I knew it. Oh, no. She found us out. I can feel sweat dripping down my back. It's going to my ass crack. You were planning on making a passionate... Making passionate love to Kobe in the storehouse, weren't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. You got it. Thankfully, Itsuha is just being the same old Itsuha. Nah. nah that's, that's what the condoms are for. <laughs> Oh, you certainly have been getting along well with Miss Komi and Miss Sakura lately, though, haven't you, young master? Even if we have, it's not like we do it in the storehouse. I mean, we've done it everywhere else, but <laughs> not in the storehouse. Well then, how about your room? That's not the issue here. That's probably the best place. I see, and here I was thinking today would be the day. Now that I think about it, this would now that I think about it, this would all actually make perfect excuse, but you know, I wouldn't do anything to impose on either of them. I suppose you wouldn't. However, I do think you could stand to be a little more bold sometimes, young master. I agree. No way. Call me, I thought you were on my side. Come on. This isn't really the time for that, is it? Why are you so timid, young master? Without your penis. I was, ju I was just stating my opinion. My prospects look bad here. Anyway, I'm going to get back to it. Oh, you... Miss Itsuha said she's going to clean the storehouse, right? We shouldn't get in her way. Especially you, with those giant bonk Hanaga hooves. You would just get right in her fucking way. I guess you're right. I always am. Indeed, the bedroom awaits, does it not? Itsuha, cut it out. That's not what we're talking about. Anyway, I'll get out of your way. Bye, Miss Itsuha. Very well. Enjoy yourselves. <laughs> I can't help but feel she has the wrong idea. But if we stay here any longer, she's sure to blow our cover, so we decide to leave. The fuck? Komei, she just walks by and be like, My room now! <laughs> okay. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. Oh, oh shit. Okay, uh, leaving the storehouse, we head to the study. How did she appear out of nowhere? She's like an RKO. I'd be more surprised if she didn't do that all the time. 
Still, I didn't expect to see her there. She's messing with us, isn't she? Well, she still hasn't figured out our plot yet, so it's fine. Yeah, I guess so. We're in the clear for now. Anyway, I've got other preparations to take care of, so let's split up. Right, if we stay in my room together like this, Itsuha's sure to get some ideas. True, not that I mind, though. Anyways, see you later. <laughs> Alright, next penis customer in, please. I can't help but feel like I just missed a good opportunity. Either way, all I can do is wait until Itsuha finishes with the storehouse. Meanwhile, I'll be in here, finishing. Oh, wait, couldn't I just have offered to clean the storehouse for her? And then I could have easily just grabbed everything. Oh, well, hindsight's 2020. Fucking dumbass. I'll just have to kill some time while I wait for Itsuha to finish. While I'm alone like this, though, I can't help but think of Kome and Sakura and about this Ryokin. It's all gone by so quickly. I'm starting to get just a little sentimental. I believe mental is the key word there, brother. Ah, I don't want to think about it. I need something to distract myself with. Masturbation! Thinking as much, I hear a knock at my door. <gasps> yeah? Who could that be? Oh, hey, baby. How you doing? Hey! Oh, Sakura. Finished preparing? Yeah, everything's taken care of on my side. So I was thinking I could give you a hand job. But I went to, <laughs> but I went to the storehouse and found Miss her. How was she? She didn't seem suspicious, huh? Of course not. When I told her I was looking for you, she said you were probably in your room. <laughs> Since I had some time, I thought I would come check up on you. I thought you might be with Kome. Huh? With Kome? I was nothing. Nothing at all. Just in here. <laughs> no, she said she had other things to take care of. Whew, okay. That's good. Where would have been a problem if Komi was here? Um, Miss Ito, I told you and Komi said you were in your room and I figured you guys were playing Bury the Rainbow Roll. <laughs> of course, we're not doing anything like that. We've got preparations to take care of. Anyway, forget I asked. Is there anything I can help you with? You know, I'm starting to just feel a little sore around the, 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 the wiener area. Can you help me out? Hmm, I need to get this stuff out of the storehouse, but I can't go waltzing in there right now. True. Oh, wait. Actually, I found something interesting in the kitchen. We might be able to use it for the party. Oh, yeah? Let's go check it out. There's nothing to do here anyway. <sighs> With that, Sakura and I head to the, <laughs> head to the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, we, this might be the last. Oh, this might be the last. I am inside the table. Oh, when we arrive. Oh, that is the wrong button. Okay. Uh, when we arrive, she shows me a grill. Is that what this is? Psst, ah, fuck. She shows me a grill. It's a perfect size for a barbecue. I found it when I was preparing for the party. I'll prepare for your party, honey. Ugh, I'm cooking my insides just to get close to you. Damn. All right, cool. Ugh, anyway. Uh, sh we inspect the grill up close. Yes, it does look like a grill. Good job, Sakura. Oh, God, the captions. Uh, it's a bit old, but it should be perfectly usable. Great job, Sakura. I'm glad to be of help. I thought it would be nice to use something with some memories to add it to it. Memories? Sakura's face lights up with glee as she speaks, but I can't recall why this burner would be significant. We used it when we went camping with your family. Don't you remember? Uh, yeah. Did that happen? Oh, you really don't remember anything about what happened way back then, do you? Uh, ha, ha, ha. Fuck. <laughs> It's okay, I already knew you were really forgetful about what happened in the past. I'm really sorry, I'll try to do better. No, don't worry about it. It's not your fault. You're just a pair of disembodied hands after all. But I will forgive you if you forget about everything that's happened since you came back. Sakura, John. The past is the past, but I don't want to forget about the now. My chest throbs. <laughs> As I look at Sakura smiling at me. Ah, oh, she's pretty cute. Of course I won't forget. Good, it's a promise. Alright, let's bring this to the courtyard. <laughs> I'll give you a hand, John. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, it'll be trouble if Itsuha sees us carrying it, so let's get a move on. Yeah. Sakura and I carry the grill to the courtyard. And we light that bitch up. I throw her booty cheeks on it so I can toast them buns before I put my meat in that shit. No, I'm sorry. I'm getting too a little, a little too aggressive today. <sighs> this spot should do. <sighs> right. Nice. You carried it the long way, you fucking dummies. Uh, we placed the grill in the middle of the courtyard. Surely Izuha won't fucking see this. Woo, we knew this thing was heavier than it looks. It would have been a real trial without you, Sakura. Who knows how long it would have taken me to move it. Izuha would have spotted me for sure. I'm glad I could help. Aw, oh, you're such a sweetheart. Well then, I well, then I need to go wait for a call from the catering service. I'll see you later. If you get some free time, 
I can give you a hand job again. Great. Thanks a lot. See you later. Yeah, baby, them little hands make my shit look huge. <laughs> well then, <laughs> next I need to get some charcoal and a hot plate out of the storehouse. It's like a baby's hand holding a hammer. <laughs> Gross. Uh, quite a bit of time has passed. Maybe Ito has finished by now. I leave the courtyard and head back to the storehouse to get the rest of the stuff. Man, I sure am drained. <laughs> Let me tell you. Itoha. Itoha is nowhere to be seen. I look through the shelf Komei had been digging through before but, and instantly find the charcoal and hot plate. Now, then. I'm loading for the third time today. This should do it. With some charcoal and a hot plate in tow, we should have everything we need to get the barbecue started. But with all this stuff in place, there's no way we could fool Itsuha again. I want to finish preparations without getting seen, but doing it alone will take time. Just as I ponder my options... A hand of... The hand of God? Hey, girl, shit! Kome, how goes? Looks like you've got everything in order. Oh, isn't that the group we usually been camping a long time ago? How nostalgic! Kome appears. Oh, Kome, how are things on your side? Perfect, of course. And Sakura, I'm sure she can handle herself. Looks like you still got a ways to go, though. I just happen to have some free time, so why don't I give you a hand job? Yeah, uh, yeah, that, that'd be great. Uh, could you check? What is? Oh, okay. Could you check the charcoal for me? Help me set up the grill. Just be cute and cheer me on. That sounds kind of shitty. Um, help me set up the grill. Help me set up the grill. Got it. Komei responds immediately, quickly and efficiently, setting up the grill. You're used to this. We used it every time we went camping, didn't we? The three of us used to help each other to set it up, remember? Oh, right. I can't remember a thing, but it seems like Komei and Sakura, honestly, have some recollections of this grill. I'm shocked. You don't remember it all, do you? I'm embarrassed to say no. You really can't remember a thing from when we were little. I think it's strange, too. This is no time to make excuses. Get to work! It looks like Komi's a little angry. It must be hard on her to realize I don't remember about anything. Uh, well, Sakura looks sad, too. Splitting up the work makes it go smoothly. By the way, I don't remember seeing this girl in the storehouse. Sakura actually found it um, in the kitchen. Oh, she's more resourceful than I thought. This place is really full of all kinds of odds and ends. It's an old place. Yeah, we even found an old antique plate. I'm sure there are all kinds of other valuable things we haven't found yet. How about we go on a treasure hunt later? Yeah. Though it sounds like fun, I can't help but remember that my time here is almost up. If I decide to stay, though, I'm sure there are all kinds of other things we could do together. Hmm, you don't sound very interested. You think so? I do. It's like your mind is off somewhere else. I'm just worried about Itsuha finding us is all. Oh, you're more of a worry work than I thought. Still, I guess... Still, I guess... She has... Happens... A lot has happened since you came here. What do you think what happened to this place? What? What, what Mitsitsuha said. About those strange trees and how if they start to bloom, people start coming here again. They're almost fully in bloom, ain't they? Yeah. But the plum and cherry trees are starting to bloom. Both. Uh, you think this place... Uh, da -da 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 -da. You think this place will start thriving again? Question mark? Uh, again soon? Uh, I don't want this place's monstrous debt. Honestly, I'm not sure how it's going to turn out, though. Do you think it'll start... Th Let's try to remain positive here. You think this place will start thriving again soon? If that happened, we could pay off all the debt and I could be rich. I think they call that counting your chickens before they hatch. Ugh. She, she, she hits me where it hurts, this time verbally. But we've already come so far, can you blame me for being a little optimistic? That's all up to our guests if they come. As always, you're right. But wouldn't that be a real bummer if no guests even came through the through, came though the trees are in bloom? Well, yeah. Even if guests don't start pouring in once the trees bloom, we can think of other uh, more normal ways to reverse our fortunes. We're here for you. We won't let you down. Kome smiles at me with a look of determination in her eyes. Something about her gaze is amazing. Right! What's the matter? You're not your usual energetic self. You think so? I'm just... me. Oh, if you say so. If you've got something on your mind, just say it. There are no secrets. Got it. 
Well then, now that the girl set up, I should probably go and check on Mitsuha. We'll try and make sure she doesn't leave her room. Great. We're counting on you. Let's go. Baby, she's willing to help even if the guests don't start flocking back. Komi really does care about this place and about me. I can't say I'm not happy to know it. I guess I need to get my own convictions in order. And just then, the hot bl <laughs> the hot pink one shows up. This time it's Sakura. Oh, Sakura, already finished speaking with the caterer? Yep, all finished. They're already preparing, so they'll bring the food right before the party starts. Awesome. Of course. Now if we just finish setting up the courtyard, they should do it, right? It already looks like we're mostly finished, though. Yeah, Komei helped out a second ago. All we need to do is light the fire. Okay, let's go ahead and light it. Uh, you don't think we need to wait for everyone uh, to get here? If we start the fire now, uh, Itsuha will smell it. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, let's get the fire started. No, let's, um, if we do it now, Itsuha's gonna smell that shit. If we start it now, Itsuha's gonna smell it. What do you think when it happens? I'm sure we can fool her. Sakura sticks out her tongue and makes a mischievous smile. My heart melts just looking at her. You think so? Alright, let's do it. I put charcoal in the grill and prepare to light the fire. Tee it's been so long since we've had a barbecue. So exciting. Ever since you stopped, ever since you stopped coming, we haven't gone camping or anything. Is that right? Yeah, that's why this party. I know it's to show appreciation for Mitsuha, but I'm also looking forward to it. A carefree, a carefree smile graces her lips as she speaks. Now that I think about it, Sakura has changed a lot since I first came back here. Um, I'm starting to look forward to this party. Two, I want to see you smile more. I like that. I like that. I want to see you smile more. Huh? They came out of nowhere. It's just your smile is so radiant. Could you smile for me again? Like this? It looks a bit forced. Oh, this is embarrassing. You can't force a real smile. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Still, my mind feels at e ease having seen her smile even once. Anyway, now that I've seen your cute smile, I'm ready and raring to go. Damn, dude, we laying on the riz, man. We the rizzler up in here. If you don't say stuff like that, it makes me really, really embarrassed. Sakura and I continue to enjoy our chat as we make headway to the preparations. All right, this should be enough charcoal. Itsuha's not lurking in the shadows, is she? I find myself on high alert, conditioned from Itsuha's repeated surprise appearances. It's fine. It's you handling it, after all. Aww, Sakura. With you around, I feel like we can overcome any problem. You sure you're not putting too much confidence in me? Not at all. It's all thanks to that you. Th it's all thanks to you that Kobe and I have changed so much. We still don't know what will happen to this place, though. But I believe if anyone's capable of restoring it, it's you. And of course, Kobe and I will be here to help you. Ah, I guess I said something kind of embarrassing. Sakura stares at her feet. Same. I'm just kidding. Stares at her feet as she starts to blush. Uh, yet I know she sees a bright future ahead of us. I, on the other hand, feel mildly peeved with myself for not for still being unable to make a decision. Is something is something wrong? No, nothing at all. Really, you look troubled. No, well, maybe. Can it be that you think it's a little sad too? Huh? Sweat drips down my back and into my butt crack in response to her question. She has has she figured out what I'm deliberating? No, I still don't have an answer. I don't. I can't confide in her just yet. It's okay. You can be honest. Still, here she is confidently offering to lend me an ear. To lend me her rear. Does she think she has any answers that'll solve all my problems? I thought, I thought the courtyard might be a little dreary, too. So I've prepared a few decorations. Decorations? Yeah, when Kumi and I decided we wanted to throw this party, I made them without telling anyone. So when she said sad, she meant the lack of decorations for this barbecue. I'll have to play along so she doesn't figure out what I'm worried about. Oh, how thoughtful, Sakura. In that case, let's set up the decor before we start the fire. Good idea. Let's get to the decorations from my room together. Right. Let's go. Let's get these decorations, brother. I'll light the fire, so do you mind putting up the decorations? I'll give you a hand, Rob, once the fire's lit. Okay, thanks. Let's get to it. <laughs> oh, I put some lighter fluid on the grill before lighting it. Now then. 
Oh, okay. All right, that should do it. The girl is lit in the blink of an eye. Sakura! Yes? Get in the pond with me. Whoa. The girl's all set. Oh, wow, it really is. There are still some decorations to put up, right? I'll give you a hand. Thanks. Okay, can you handle these for me? Oh, that was that was her lines. Sakura hands me some decorations. Is there anywhere you want these? No, just put them wherever you think looks good. Okay. All right, I guess I'll give it a shot. I take a look over the courtyard, searching for an ideal place to put the decorations. The pine tree. Looking over at the courtyard, I notice one place there hasn't put any decorations. The pine tree. Right then, why the court with the courtyard decorated so cheerfully, this old pine tree looks a bit shabby in comparison. I begin putting the decorations I'm holding around the tree. Look up at the decorated pine tree. This is the giving off Christmas vibes. Oh, well, I guess it's better than nothing. This tree looks like it's on its last legs. It's in even worse condition than when Komei and Sakura were worrying about it during that storm. I'll ha I have no idea how long these kinds of trees usually live, but I'd like to like it to be healthy. <laughs> oh, hey girls! I decorated the tree! You. Oh, Komei, when did you get here? She came a minute ago, so she even helped with some decorations! Aww! I was so focused on decorating the pine tree that I didn't notice. I'm surprised you thought to decorate this tree. Yeah, but now it's looking a little bit like Christmas. But there are still some decorations left, so maybe I can spruce it up a little. Ha! Huh, tree pun. Then I'll give you a hand. Elsewhere, everyone else is already taken care of. Yeah, this tree really stands out, so it would be nice to make it look good. Oh yeah? Then I appreciate the help. Of course. Let's do it. With that, we work together to decorate this awesome-looking pine tree. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, look at this tree. Ah, oh, the tree. How's this look, Sakura? Maybe a little more to the right. We're s oh, okay. All right, how's this look? Oh, you. I think you should put that up a little higher. Like this? Like this? Uh, yeah. With Komei and Sakura here, decorating this tree is a breeze. Of course, having extra hand jobs is always nice, but with these two, it's fun and relaxing. For a brief instant... I consider telling them about my concerns, but... How about now? Looks great. Let's put up something above that to the right. Okay, leave it to me. If I start talking about that now, it's unlikely to be all smiles when we're done. This is a problem I'm going to have to deal with myself. You can take care of the next decoration for me. All right. Yeah, sure. Right now, I just want to enjoy this moment to the fullest. A little longer, just a little longer. I save my worries for later. Now then... We finished decorating the pine tree. Oh, no, that's impressive. Oh, it does look nice. That's cute. It looks wonderful. Yeah. The three of us look up at the tree and smile in relief. I bet Itsuha will get a shock at us seeing this. Okay, okay, it's about time. Let's go and get the guest of honor. Miss I Itsuha. <laughs> Itsuha! Surprise! Komei and Sakura are bringing Itsuha to the courtyard. Oh my, may I ask, what is the occasion? Well, go on and just ask you. Huh, me? Shouldn't the two who planned this whole thing be the ones to tell her? Both Komei and Sakura look up at me in anticipation. And we will figure out what happens with that anticipation next time on Senpai Arcade. Thank you guys for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Please make sure to follow us on Instagram, iPhone, TikTok, Twitter, and Nine all social media. You guys are already on, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.